Okay guys, so today we're starting a new project. Uh, on my wife's car, Nissan Sentra, there's a tether for the gas cap. And as you can see, I know it needs to be washed, but it broke. And I can try to go to the, to the dealer and pick up a new one. But I figured this might be a good project to uh, 3D print. Uh, especially in some flexible PLA so, or uh, flexible filament. So let me take this out there, start measuring, and see what we can, what we can come up with. So I, I come out here and I'm, I'm talking with Calvin. Before I can even fire up Sneak and Tinkercad and <laughs> start putting shapes together, I kid you not, less than five minutes, and this is what he came up with. So it's got the correct diameter for the gas cap. And it'll be printed in TPU, so it'll be stretchy enough to stretch over it and you know, have enough uh, play in it so it'll spin around the cap. And instead of having to go with a round, we can just go with a flat. But check that out. He designed this end of it so it'll fit right in. And play, instead of having a cap or a little plug that has to, to click into it separately, this is going to be 3D printed as part of it. And that should hold it in place on the on the gas cap lid because this this outer diameter is way bigger than what the final one is so it's going to take some force to get it in there but the thing isn't going to be yanked on so it should be fine yeah okay cool thank you calvin Anytime. let's go ahead and uh, print it up and see how it turns out Okay, so this was about an hour later. Uh, Calvin had to go back through and redesign this piece right here, so it's a little bit shorter and it's got a little hole in it. But uh, hey, that's plenty floppy enough. I think that may work. He put a little hole in it, made it a little bit shorter. Put a little hole in it that way. That way, it should be able to to narrow down enough to fit through the hole on the gas filler lid thing. Anyway, let's take out there and see how it works out. Okay, so that is where it's going to attach to. So Calvin's throwing that on there. Much confidence that it'll work this time. Nice, that's actually looking pretty good. So we'll, uh... Perfect. That's the questionable part. So he's got it fixed so he can actually take a little Allen wrench and poke it in. If need be, we can always take a little flat blade screwdriver and push the other part in. Yeah. Or if we had like a lighter or something just to warm it up. It's actually pretty close. We'll get it. Yeah, I think it'll go right in. Yeah, 
pull on that part if you want. Yeah. I got my knife on me. I'm just trying to use it. Yeah, I do. Yeah, it's not bad actually. It's it should fit. You just try pushing on it with the back of the knife. Just get it to one side in, and then yeah, just tip it. Don't do this at home, children. Uh, yeah, children will be messing around with gas caps anyway. You never know these days. Yeah. Let's get a little flat blade, blade screwdriver. Oh wait, a minute. did you get it? I think it's in. I think it's almost in. Yeah, it's just get in over the over the afro. Here. Done. Nice. Hey, that's that's not going anywhere. That's not going anywhere. I wish I could get the camera behind there, but yeah, you're not. No, it's that's perfect. It's got a little bit of where it's turning just right. That way, when a person takes this loose, you drop it down or put it where it's supposed to be. I ain't going nowhere. That's not the main thing is it's not going to just fall onto the ground. Yeah, you're not going to forget it. Yeah, of course, it's going to take a little while for it to learn its the right way to go but hey that works thank you calvin anytime Keep yeah shaking. my hair is a mess <laughs> yeah i'm a mess too so is this car i need to wash it hey anyway, guys thank you for watching take care and i'll catch you in the next one